for one hour to discuss to discuss how every single one can contribute. This example shows Scania is a true forerunner for for uh, in driving the shift to a, a sustainable future of transport. At uh, Innovation Day here in Södertälje, um, Sweden, I have uh, Roberto Cortes. Uh, we are discussing new solutions for the future. And um, you are also a grandfather. And uh, how do you think they would like to see you uh, as a leader, business leader for their future? Yeah, I'm a grandfather of three kids two girls and one boy. And uh, what they expect from me is that uh, I contribute in order to create a better world for them. And uh, I'm doing that uh, every minute of my life. And uh, in uh, the better way I can contribute is, is really promoting, for instance, uh, uh, alternative fuels to the, to the CO2 emissions and uh, one area that uh, we are very much advanced, adv advanced is on the electric power uh, trucks. And uh, we are the first uh, in Brazil to develop it. And uh, the next year we start producing these on a series base. And uh, I think that's the best answer I can give it to the kids is that uh, I am providing, I am doing my part in order to promote a better environment for, for their future. As Brazil has always been a little bit in the front when we talk about the engines and fuels, and uh, uh, ethanol was very early adapted in Brazil, and uh, now you are going to be a leader on electrical, electrical small trucks in the more of a system thinking. What, what is uh, the, your investment in? My view on that, you mentioned ethanol. I believe that uh, we cannot depend upon one technology to run cars and trucks and buses. I mean, each application justifies a different uh, 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 kind of uh, engine, so to speak. For instance, I am uh, really convinced that uh, in the urban uh, goods transportation, uh, in, in a small distance, uh, stop and go, the, the electric vehicle plays a very important role. So we don't need a lot of infrastructure throughout the country. We can do things within seats. But uh, other applications, we still need to depend on the combustion engine. So that's why we are, as we speak, uh, uh, develop uh, uh, efficiency programs on the emissions, bringing new emissions standard that uh, it's more environment friendly, and also ethanol and the gas also plays role depending on the application. So I think uh, we can uh, give attention to all the possibilities and not discard any. Depending on the application, one is better than the other. Mm. When we talk about engine and fuels, uh, that's only a part of development. When, but it's also when you look at system and transportation. Uh, we talk about uh, cities development and where the trucks or whatever transportation solution you have, have to be combined with other stakeholders. Uh, does that mean that you uh, involve the the city's uh, planning system in the work now? Uh, definitely. One good example that I know that you are aware of is Curitiba, which uh, developed the BRT solution, which is pretty much requires uh, infrastructure into the city to have the, the big buses uh, running throughout the cities. And uh, we are also talking with the mayors and with the governor how incentivate the use of electric vehicles in the system. So 
the collaboration between us and the government in general in order to promote better solutions in terms of uh, uh, environment uh, fuels is, is crucial. Is, and we needed to really close uh, work with them. And this is one of the subjects I will talk today, collaboration with the customer, very important collaboration with partners, with include this municipality, for instance, and collaboration with uh, hmm. people, our employees. So, how, uh, where is the biggest challenge for you to implement your, your vision over the new transportation system? It's basically the infrastructure. We, I mean, we are in Brazil, we have a different priorities than, for instance, in Europe, and uh, to have a good infrastructure for electric vehicle maybe not as a first priority for the government like it is here. So the government has a lot of uh, infrastructure needs before the electric infrastructure. So that's why I do believe that uh, in a urban transportation, the electric may play an important role because it doesn't require a lot of in infrastructure. You have just to have some uh, places to uh, uh, charge your truck with electricity and uh, don't need uh, this bump. Thank you very much, Mr. Cortez. Thank you.